Hi friends, it's Dr. Terry. Welcome to the lesson on color and the color wheel. You can review the lesson here in case you missed it when it was live and in color during class in my Zoom room. Um, or you can come back here if you want to get more information or just review it. Um, the information attached to the Canvas page is there for your reference and I want you to keep it in your art notebook because you, you're going to flip back to it and we're going to talk about it again and again throughout the rest of the year. Um, the next few assignments that we have in class are going to really focus on color. So this assignment is, is pretty important. Um, it'll be all about color and colors and the relationships that colors have to each other and how the use of different colors together can really change your artwork. So make sure that we're ready. We're going to have this foundation put in place. Now um, attached to the canvas page are handouts that you can print out and color in as part of your assignments. However, if you don't have access to a printer or you don't want to print them out, no worries because we can draw them in our art notebook. That's what it's for. For example, one of the handouts is going to be the color wheel. And the color wheel um, helps us to know the order in which the colors exist in a rainbow. And the rainbow order is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And that also spells Roy G. Big. That's the way you remember it. Um, we don't always include indigo because it's kind of wonky between blue and purple or blue and violet. So you don't always see the indigo, but it, it's in there. So on my color wheel, I don't include it because we get mixed up with the indigo and the blue and the violet. But on this one, we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, or purple. If you can't print it out, don't worry. We can draw it in our art notebook. So in my triangle, I have the primary colors. And if you remember, the primary colors are the first colors. Those are the colors that you use to make all the other colors in the world. With the primary colors and white and black, you can make all the colors in the world. So we have red, blue, and yellow. With those three colors, and white and black, you can make all the colors in the world. So we have the primary colors in the triangle and the secondary colors inside the circle. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet or purple. And down in the corner here, I made Roy. Roy G. Boo. You can tell she's rainbow here. She's kind of a cool character. So my primary color chart, my color wheel, you can print it out, here it is, triangle with the three colors, or you can just make a triangle and add your three colors, and there's Roy peeking over the side. And the same thing with the secondary, you can add the triangles, the secondary colors are the smaller ones, or you can print them out. Don't feel obligated to print them out, and don't worry if you don't have a printer, because we keep everything in our art journals anyway. So, after you complete the assignment, whether we do it together in class, or whether you're making it up because you missed class, or if you want to jump ahead over winter break, you can. Just make sure that you're submitting the assignment to Canvas. Take a picture of it, or send me a video of yourself. Tell me about your artwork, and we're all good. So if you have any questions, always send me a dojo message, or send me an email, and I'm happy to answer them for you. So remember Roy, Roy G. Biff, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, sometimes indigo, and violet. And we will have fun with colors for our next few assignments. So have fun learning about colors, and there's a fun song attached to the canvas assignment. It'll get stuck in your head like an earworm.
but it's a fun earworm. See you later. Enjoy your day. Bye.